Thank you. Lay down. Lay down. No, over here. Good girl. Hello. Shit, not hello. Welcome back. So today, we will be working on the floor again. Big surprise. So, a couple episodes ago, which is a few weeks ago now, we, uh, we ground down the floor and we had the floor, so we got the floor down to bare fiberglass and some of the, a little bit of the gel coat. So today we'll be getting, we'll be putting on a coat of fiberglass on top of that fiberglass to strengthen up some of the flooring. The flooring had, after grinding off all of that plywood, the flooring is now pretty weak and spongy kind of in some of the spots. So we'll be, we'll be fixing that today. Isn't that right, Finn? Hmm? But thank you all for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing. Thank you for it all. We appreciate all of the love and support. Fit. No biting. Good boy. I love you too, Tuesday. Yeah. Good boy. All right, come on. Okay. So what we'll be using today is this biaxial chop strand mat. So it's 17, 1708 biaxial mat, and we need nine nine feet by about forty six inches wide for the for the boat floor. Okay, so we have the start of the actual final layer. We started to do over there and realized that that wasn't the best material to use. Um, so now we have that chopped that bias chop strand mat. this today um, so we're gonna stay off the boat for the afternoon but uh so we're starting to do some more replicating um, I don't know if you can see behind me there's quite a few that we've already few parts that we've already made so this is one of the shelves that goes up behind one of the benches on the boat um, this side in particular is the port side um, and so how we do that is we just take a sheet of plywood um, and we like, and we just put the piece, the old piece, and tr like on it. If there's a flat edge, that's the easiest place to start off of, and uh, and then we tr just trace the piece as best as we can. Sometimes we have to uh, we have to like add up or not add up, but sometimes we have to like make up for some rotten spots on some of the parts, and then and then we cut it out with either a jigsaw or a circular saw. Or sometimes if, if it's if, <laughs> if we're lucky we can use a table saw. But uh yeah. So we'll we'll go over making cutting out another pretty big piece out of some plywood. So here we're using two different types, well not in this piece, but we're using two different types of plywood in this rebuild we're using so this stuff is just i think this is half inch um just like regular um pressure treated from home depot and then we also have some actual like marine grade plywood that we're getting from a from like a specialty hardwood store here in uh well down in new london um so this this stuff this one in particular is a half inch um, with a Luan mahogany veneer, um, marine, like actual marine grade plywood. And then this stuff is just pressure treated. Um, I wasn't originally gonna use this, but since we have already, 
and it's just going to be for like a bench top. So we're never going to see it. The cushions are going to be on top of it, and it's going to be painted with a couple coats of uh, top of like top side paint. So I'm not I'm not worried about the ceiling or the, the uh, like the rot prevention of it. Um, so it should work fine for this application. So yeah, that's the that's the difference between the two different kinds of plywood you're seeing us use. some more coats on all of these components you saw so there's a big piece over there that we'll get to later um, <laughs> so we're using a uh, this easy epoxy modern polyurethane topside paint so it's just a top side so it's just a polyurethane epoxy topside paint that's uh that's just white oh I've got a bunch on my hand um yeah so it's just just white topside paint um, we got it from uh, West Marine. I'm sure there's multiple, multiple kinds and multiple places to get it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> 